This is a segment we call preventative medicine. Yes, yes, yes. Preventative medicine is brought to you by the Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA. Now, in COVID-19 news, there is good news and there is bad news. The good news is that cases of COVID-19 are coming down in so many parts of the world. The bad news is that so many variants are also emerging all over the world. There is the Brazilian variant. There is the UK variant. There is the South African variant. And of course, there is the Nigerian variant. That are, and, and one of the mutations that this uh, variant that was originally associated with Nigeria has is one that is of concern. So that's why they'd, uh, the, our lab folk have decided to, to include it in the ones that we monitor for. Oh! The Nigerian variant has gone all the way to Canada. The truth is that we cannot relax now. It is still very dangerous. In fact, we need to follow the COVID-19 protocols more than ever this time. The last worldwide pandemic of 1918 killed over 500 million people, which was one third of the world's population then, one third. It came in four successive waves. Like it happened in 1918, there is a risk of relaxing now and having one of these variants sweep through the world in days, killing millions of people in a very short time. Remember that COVID-19 has killed over 500,000 people in the U.S. alone and more than 2.5 million people worldwide. The other good news is that COVID-19 vaccines are rolling into Africa. Yes. Finally, Ghana has become the first country in Africa to receive COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX program. Yes, look at the headline. Yeah, Ivory Coast became the second country after Ghana to receive COVID-19 vaccines as part of the global vaccine sharing program. Yes. I know, Nigerian vaccine is coming in this week. So, will you take it when it comes to Nigeria? Nigeria Health Watch recently went on the streets of Nigeria to ask this question. Here are some answers that some of the people they met on the streets gave. Take a look. I will take it. I don't think I'm going to be vaccinated. I will take it. I'm not going to accept the vaccine. It's going to keep us healthy. Why not? I will take it. I cannot take it. Yeah, different people, different views. One woman asked an important question. Watch. Um, we've been seeing different reactions about the vaccine online on social media. Put the people doing some funny dance moves. Would that really happen? I don't want to have like a negative reaction to the vaccine. I don't want to bring all those things that is going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Dr. Damages took the vaccine last week. I'm here and I'm doing what I do well. Run my mouth. <laughs> here the woman again. So if it's going to be positive, why not? If it's going to keep us healthy, why not? I don't really believe that it's 666, as people say. So I hope you will take the vaccine when you get the opportunity. In the meantime, wear your mask, wash your hands, maintain social distance, follow health officials' guidelines, and stay safe. It is those who are alive that will get the opportunity to tell the stories.